turn to the opening statement from Mike Collins, who we welcome from the great state of Georgia. Congressman Collins. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And uh, I'm sure you folks notice that I probably don't sound like I'm around here, and that's because y'all got an accent. <laughs> but uh, I do want to thank you, though, Mr. Chairman. I know you tried to make me feel at home by leaving me some sweet tea up here, and, uh, and I appreciate that. Folks, y'all, I, I am from Georgia. I represent the 10th District of Georgia, and probably like 99% of y'all out there, for the past 30-plus years, I've not been up here. I've been out there. See, I've never been elected to anything in my life until this past November when I got elected to Congress. My background is in the trucking business. Uh, my wife and I, we were fortunate enough to, I'm second generation in this industry, and we started our own trucking company 30 years ago, and now our third generation runs that thing. And, uh, and I decided to run for Congress on several different issues. Inflation, border security, and had it, having oversight in every committee that we have in Congress, which leads me to why I'm here today. You see, I've had the opportunity to, uh, to be in hearings, and while I'm not on this subcommittee, I, it's an honor to be here uh, representing part of the full committee. But I've been in hearings, y'all, on the East Coast, the Midwest, and now out here in the West. And it's the same thing everywhere we go. It's a freaking overreach from a federal government with an administration that is pushing a left-wing socialistic agenda down our throats. I look forward to the witnesses. I look forward to listening to your testimony. I, I think that it is so important that we have local community leaders and, and people that are out there trying to make a living uh, and, and, and provide for their families. And, and I'll tell you something else. It's, it's great to see such a huge crowd out there. That shows your concern. It shows not that you're just concerned about the community, you're probably concerned about your family, about your jobs, and about that third generation that may want to take over. So, Mr. Chairman, I'm glad to be here. I appreciate the opportunity, and I yield back so we can get this thing cranked up and going. Thank you, Mr. Collins.